Hi folks, it's Mark with YakAngler.com. We just did the unboxing video of the uh, <coughs> of the Predator XL uh, with Minn Kota. And um, so we're, I'm going to show you now how to put on the rudder. Uh, I don't really, I'm not one for reading instructions, so I kind of just figure it out. Um, but I do know that you need a 3 8 inch wrench, uh, a 7 16 inch wrench, and then a Phillips head screwdriver. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take a take this bracket off right here this is what we're gonna attach to here and the uh, bracket the screw that thing is that's attaching this thing is really really long so I want to sit here on camera and try to unscrew it for four days so I'm just gonna use my driver real quick We got this off. I was looking at how the rudder works and I thought you would put the bracket like this on there. But then I just decided to glance at the instructions. As you can see, like if you don't read like me, they have a picture, but this bracket, this part of the bracket, is actually facing down. Now, the problem is if you if you install it like that, the uh, the rudder is not going to be able to flip up. So this picture is not right. <clears throat> so we're going to install it with the uh, with the longer side up. Make sure when you're doing these, you put the uh, the little washers on. I don't know if you can see them or not. There's four little washers in that bag. The bag actually opened up uh, before I got it all unboxed. I was worried I had lost some pieces, but I mean, there's four there's there's four washers, so hopefully we weren't supposed to have any more in there. All right, sorry. There's four washers in that bag. And I would normally put some Loctite on these screws, um, but I don't have any. But if you are doing this, put some Loctite on there. That way, you don't have to worry about it coming off. All right, that's on there. Now this guy. is going to fit together. Make sure your uh, your lines aren't twisted up before you put it in there. Okay, so you want your lines nice and straight like that. And then there's bungees on that end, so it's going to fit snugly. Put it like that. You're going to take your bolt, start it back through. to 16 cents wrench. These are nylon lock nuts, so we don't have to worry about the nuts coming off.
tools here. Be careful not to over tighten this too. So I would recommend actually using hand tools. So you don't over tighten anything. Okay. Alright, now we're going to want to put our rudder keeper on. And this is what this looks like right here. It's just going to mount right here. Take two of our screws. Start in the plastic first, make it a little bit easier to work with. Again, I would put, um, I would also put some lock nut on this, or Loctite on this. Did I say lock nut earlier? I don't know. Either way, you know what I mean. these you want these tight but be sure to not over tighten them you can end up stripping out the, the plastic part of them all right so and this just fits in like this and when you want it stowed it sits in here like this and you just anyway that's how it stays stowed like that okay so now we want to hook up the rudder cables and so this is as easy as Taking out the little nut. Taking the washer on there. And tightening the lock nut. <coughs> Grab your 3 8 inch wrench. Screwdriver. I don't know if you guys saw that. Make sure there's two washers on the top. Make sure you take one of the washers out and put it on the bottom. I guess they just have it rigged like that, so I don't know, maybe see so you won't lose it. Okay, you want it snug, but you don't want it like crazy tight because it needs to be able to move a little bit. And do the other one. Same thing, take the washer, the two washers from up top, put one of them down on the bottom. Put your nut on there. Tighten it down, but don't, don't over tighten it.
lines feel like they're twisted. That's it, that's how you put the rudder on. We're gonna install the prop, and it's really simple. You have this little pin right here. You're gonna, there's a little hole in the shaft of the drive, you're gonna stick that in. Stick your prop on and line up, there's a little slot in it to line up for that drive pin. You'll feel it catch. <clears throat> you take your prop washer, stick that on there. And you're going to stick your prop nut on with the flat side. That's where it's here. And all you're going to do is you're going to hold it with your with a flat head while you screw it on. And that's it. All right, I'm not trying to insult your guys' intelligence or anything, but when I said I would show you also how we're putting on the paddle keeper, I didn't realize that we didn't have to drill any holes or anything. Everything's pretty much done. All you have to do is screw it in. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and screw it in real quick. I don't think you guys need to know how to do this. Um, other than the fact that I would suggest again using some lock, some Loctite lock nut, whatever the hell you want to call it. But the paddle keeper goes right in here. I mean, it's as simple. If you can figure out righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, you'll be good to go. it. So last thing you would do so your rudder is good to go is you get in here, um, sit down in it, and adjust your foot pedals. Um, make sure make sure your rudder can move side to side, nothing's binding. Um, if it is binding, check your that long that long screw, make sure it's not too tight, and also check the uh, the screws and nuts that are on each end of the um, of the uh, rudder wires. Make sure those aren't too tight. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's a they have everything laid out for you. I mean, it's it's really easy. But that's the rudder install um, and the uh, paddle keeper install on the Old Town Predator XL with Minn Kota motor. And hopefully I'll have some, this weather keeps up like this, hopefully I'll have some on the water footage soon. All right, thank you for checking this out and uh, keep an eye out for yakangler.com videos and all this other kind of cool stuff. We also got that sweet series, um, Yak Anglers Inside and Out with Jameson. So. Check it out. All right, take care, guys.